Between flubbed lines and technical difficulties, fans have gotten to see the cast of Breaking Bad's true colors and a surprising amount of sexuality through the show's official blooper reels. Breaking Bad fans will never forget the fallout from Hank's fateful trip to the bathroom, where he finally realizes Heisenberg's true identity. When the second part of Season 5 debuted, Hank, played by Dean Norris, wastes no time confronting Walt about his double life. While this tense standoff between Hank and Walt is unforgettable, you might not know that to get this uber-serious moment right, the Breaking Bad crew had to overcome some pretty hilarious technical issues. In the bloopers for the second half of Season 5, we see the attempts at this scene gone wrong. At the moment when Hank pushes the button to threateningly close the garage door, it repeatedly gets stuck. Norris keeps jamming the button to try and get the door shut, but to no avail. At one point, Norris gives up and drops the garage door remote on the table to end a take before dramatically falling over. Unfortunately, by that point, neither actor seemed to be able to keep it together to get through a take without cracking up. This blooper is a Brian Cranston classic and one of the rare hilarious moments that came from the actor staying in character rather than breaking it. In this Season 4 outtake, the filmmakers were trying to capture a low-angle shot of Walt sticking a bill into a vending machine. It's a small shot you probably don't remember, but when Cranston can't quite seem to get the machine to take the dollar, an unforgettable moment erupts. In the take, Cranston feeds the bill into the machine multiple times, only for it to be spat back out at the actor. After the machine repeatedly rejects him, Cranston, still in character, mutters a certain name under his breath. Bogdan. The man he's referring to is the original owner of the car wash. Since Walt and Bogdan have never had a particularly friendly relationship, it's no surprise that Walt would blame Bogdan for not keeping his vending machines in working order. In a characteristically manipulative moment from Season 2, Walt hypes Jesse up by likening him to a blowfish. In his defense, it's an apt metaphor. As Walter says, both Jesse and the blowfish start out unassuming. Small in stature, not swift, not cunning. Easy prey for predators. The point of this comparison was to highlight Jesse's ability to intimidate others when he needs to, even if he appears weak on the outside. The speech works, and Jesse is noticeably more energized for the rest of the scene. However, in the Breaking Bad Season 2 bloopers, we see what happens when Brian Cranston can't quite nail the line. The final line of the speech is the rhetorical question, Who messes with the blowfish, Jesse? In the outtakes, Cranston slips up by repeatedly calling Jesse the wrong name. Who messes with the blowfish, Jeff? <laughs> if you're wondering who Jeff could possibly be, even Cranston himself doesn't know. As the blooper continues, we see him rack his brain to try and figure out just where that came from. We may never know the answer, but we are thankful for this famous flub regardless. This behind-the-scenes moment shows us the light side of Breaking Bad star Anna Gunn. While Skyler White was pretty much all business all the time during Gunn's scenes on the drama, it's clear from this Season 2 blooper that the actress who played her has a much better sense of humor. In this series of clips, we see Gunn on set holding a prosthetic hand. As she feels herself up with a hand, the actress jokingly moans Tuco's name before throwing her head back and cackling at the absurdity of what she's doing. Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul got very close throughout the shooting of Breaking Bad. So close, in fact, that their friendship has extended well into the decades since the series' last season aired. Paul and Cranston's chemistry, both on and off screen, was so natural that Jesse's original fate was even written out of the show to keep him on as a main character. However, if you haven't seen this particular outtake, you might not realize just how close the two were. For as close as the two were emotionally, some viewers might be surprised how close they'd gotten physically. In this Breaking Bad Season 2 blooper, the actors who play Walt and Jesse have an intimate moment of male bonding. In this clip, the two are embracing when Paul reaches for Cranston's butt and starts to rub his co-star. The actors start to verbally flirt with one another while trying to strip off their hazard suits. This sensual moment might change the way you look at Walt and Jesse's relationship the next time you rewatch Breaking Bad. When most viewers think of Breaking Bad, they think of one iconically menacing line spoken by Walter White in Season 4. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. As legendary as the scene is, Cranston and Gunn didn't get it on every take. Thankfully, the showrunners included some of the mishaps from the scene in the Season 4 blooper reel. In this clip, Gunn tees Cranston up perfectly, delivering her line about Walt being in danger with absolute sincerity. The response starts as a smile, but before Cranston can break into the main part of his speech, he starts laughing uncontrollably. Something about the moment was just too much for Cranston. We all laugh in uncomfortable situations, but there's something particularly bizarre about seeing Walter White break in that moment. In one of the most outlandish moments of his entire career, Brian Cranston let it all loose while filming a shower scene for Breaking Bad Season 4. In addition to being completely naked and in the middle of shaving his head, this blooper depicts the disrobed Cranston singing a SpongeBob SquarePants theme song parody. While waiting for the showrunners to get the right shot, Cranston chooses to adopt a pirate accent before singing to himself. Who works naked with a light meter? The answer is not entirely clear, although you can definitely make out that whoever this shanty is about is known for their, quote, sweaty balls. 
As he continues, he backs up into the frame where, if not for the mercy of the editors, viewers would have become even more intimately familiar with Cranston's body than the pilot episode allows. We've already seen how, in the face of technical difficulties, Brian Cranston can improvise silly contributions to scenes that still make some sense in the context of the show. However, his interaction with Gus Spring actor Giancarlo Esposito is anything but sensible. In this outtake from Breaking Bad Season 4, Brian Cranston improvises between takes by ordering a meal at the register while Esposito takes his order. While a tense conversation should be transpiring in these moments, Cranston just keeps telling Esposito his order. In the end, Cranston tells him in a top-tier deadpan about his dietary restrictions. And I know I'm allergic to tacos. In the lab where they cook meth, Walt and Jesse are often seen transporting large plastic boxes and barrels filled with various chemicals. Occasionally, these barrels have been filled with bodies dissolving in acid. Having disposed of a body by doing the same thing early in Season 1, it seems the pair have just gotten used to this morbid occupational hazard. This aspect of their job adds a stark contrast to the Season 4 blooper, where Cranston and Paul are seen playing with an empty one of these barrels. The clip begins with Cranston holding a large plastic barrel by the lid and slamming it onto the floor in an attempt to open the top. Paul comes in and starts pounding on it, then Cranston gives it a large kick. It's not the most outstanding of the Season 4 bloopers, but it does provide a unique look behind the show's curtain. This blooper comes off like Brian Cranston doing a comedy sketch. In the same vein as his shower song, we weren't quite sure what the actor was on that day, but we appreciate his improvisational antics even more this time around. In this clip from the third Season 4 blooper reel, Cranston delivers a satire of a PSA directly to the camera. What is it for? Anal bleaching, as it turns out. From the cast to the crew, an anal bleaching oh. kit because no crew should walk around with a dark anus. Walton Schuyler's marital life has always been complicated to say the least. Between the constant power struggle, the lies, and the cheating, it's far from a typical married relationship. Even so, some elements of their romantic life remained a mystery to the audience throughout the run of the series, at least until the season four blooper reels came out. In this outtake from season four, Brian Cranston walks up to Anna Gunn while clothed in a baby costume, diaper and all, before taking a pacifier out of his mouth to speak. I know it was my fantasy, but I hope you got some enjoyment." Gunn laughs and cheekily calls Cranston a good boy before giving her co-star a playful spank. In the final season of Breaking Bad, audiences saw the long-awaited return of some characters that had been out of focus for several seasons. In one scene, we see Jesse's old friends Badger and Skinny Pete up to their old nonsense while running an errand for Jesse and Walt. This time, we see them messing around with the instruments in a music store. As Badger, played by Matt Jones, hammers away on the guitar to no avail, we see Pete, played by Charles Baker, turn out a nice classical melody on the piano. While these events might already sound familiar to those who have seen the show, this season 5 blooper shows a longer clip, featuring an extended piano solo by Skinny Pete. Baker continues his classical demonstration long after Jones stops strumming and the take ends. As he plays, Jones looks on in frustration until Baker finishes his moment. Yeah, we get it. You're better. <laughs>